hear Tweety Birds tweeting. You can hear gobblers gobbling. I feel lucky right here. It's gonna have a gobble. Was that a gobble? Sort of sound like one. Oh. I'm not so sure, but it was a noise up that way. I heard it too. Yeah, it was pretty. F it was faint. I didn't want to say nothing, but I thought I heard it up there. I saw you do that. Yeah, I, I thought I heard one up there. Was that a gobble? Yeah. Let's get up there. That's your favorite drink, ain't it? I used to drink Mountain Dews, but I quit the Mountain Dews. My favorite tea. I had to have, I had to have flavor. Like water to me, just tastes very bitter. Now, if I'm hot and sweaty, I love some ice water. Yeah, I do too. Some cold. It has to be cold. Yeah. Let me ask you this: Do, do you drink your ice milk? water, man? It's gonna be cold. Do you drink ice water? Do you drink your milk with ice or no ice? No ice. Oh, you tell you're from up north. <laughs> Not from up north. <laughs> you're from South Carolina. Minnesota. I'm from South Carolina. Minnesota. Don't forget that. Test. All I'm right. Not, I'm not him in. Like that one I killed today. Be nice if he's up there by himself. If he's hot. I, th I think the fact that he's in, might be in that field that he's with hens. Mm -hmm. But you never know. And there might be other birds around. So basically, we can go up this big hill here and there's a flat and it runs into a field. The field's all private. These ridges across here are public. So we gotta call them in the woods. And that's the way I would hunt anyway. I wouldn't go out and try to call them to the edge of the field. I'm gonna stay in the woods and call them into the woods. yards to the property line so we can move forward another 70 yards we'll be okay here comes my trusty cameraman I think we'll just ease forward a little bit find what looks like a good spot and just sit down and make our calls or while we are seated he could be right at the edge of the property line he could be out in the field and I don't think he's over yeah, I think he's farther to the left. But that point over there, that point over there just didn't look suitable on the map. This has got a nice little flat. And if he is over there, we get him to gobble and he doesn't move, then we go over that way. But there's there's less public land to work with that way. That's the problem. We've got plenty of that way. Anyway, let's get up here and get settled. Say he comes into the woods and then he swings left. Look at that. Clear that tree right there. I can pull that off. Swings make it tough. Mm. We might be going down this hill as fast as we came up it. Yeah, she can't hear nothing. We're gonna have that issue everywhere though. Oh, it's a gobbler too. I thought it was some raccoon. Almost time to start roosting gobblers. Um, after Tyler killed his bird today, we hopped around and tried to find other ones, but we didn't have any luck doing that. We thought we heard one gobble at one spot. We went up there and 
couldn't do nothing with them and never got them to gobble again if it was indeed a gobble. But right now it's almost sunset. We're three minutes away from official sunset and we're just going to ride around and try to locate me one for tomorrow morning. So hope you enjoy the next few minutes of uh, roosting gobblers and then we'll get after it in the morning. What you smiling for, cameraman? <laughs> He gobbled, he not. He was just faking it. Are oh, you being for real? I didn't hear no gobble. He gobbled right here. You're faking it. Why did he get inside, do you think? He gobbled he's right here. It. I'm telling you, I'd bet my whole life savings on it. He gobbled right there. Yeah, and you're lying. I know you are. I, 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 I'm not. I mean, is that a good hoop? No, because it didn't get anything to gobble. You don't always get to gobble. Look, you're just swearing on your parents' grave and stuff. <laughs> it's gobbled. Ain't no turkey gobble. I promise you, I didn't hear no turkey gobble. Have I been, have I been wrong all day about one gobble? Yeah, right now you're blatantly lying. You didn't hear one. You're just saying. I you. know. I swore. I swore. I heard something that sound like a gobble uh, on that ridge. You heard something that sounds like. Okay, now. Let me point. try. They won't gobble that anyway, will they? Yeah, they gobble anything when they're in the mood. Mm -hmm. It's imaginary gobbler just gobble. I know it did. Good gobbler putts. Yeah, I heard one this morning. Yeah, you should you should know exactly what it sound like. Third spot, we're over three right now. They may not be in a gobbler mood tonight. Oh! Hey, what to you? Mm. I forgot about doing it. <laughs> I forgot about it. One there, one there. Hey, on the first, the first I hoot. first and the second. The first hoot here, second hoot here. There's two birds gobbling right here up on this point. All right, we got some birds roosted yesterday evening. A couple of spots. Neither one of them's real good. This in here is just a little sliver of public on the top of the hill the birds are roosted somewhere nearby we don't know exactly where they could be roosted right up over top of the public we want to take our chances we got to get up there we got to deal some, with some rocks i think it looks like on the satellite images but we want to get up there and just sit down and listen for them to gobble and try to call them into this i mean teeny chunk of public on top it's going to be like a 40 or 50 yard you know allow ain't much we can do but go sit and hope for the best let's go Yeah, I screwed up this morning. We just bumped the second gobbler out of the tree. A little across to where the other one was gobbling yesterday evening. We had three of them, two here and one across there. And there's a cliff here where we can't get up. 
except for you go to one, around one side or the other. Well, I figured the birds were roosted farther that way. I figured we'd come up what looked like the only feasible route up. And we basically walked right up under the two gobblers and they both flushed out. We know next time if they gobble the roost here, not to come this route and to get here and the moon's out. I don't know. I got all kinds of excuses. They run across that ridge. That's public. Let's get down the hill and get up that hill. Hey, I feel like he's on the, the back side of that point. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. He's not, he's not he's like very loud. He came back down the hill because we flushed every turkey off the hill up there. Just, it was a risky move and we lost. But they flew across over here where there's already a bird roosted. And I imagine the two gobblers were gonna be gobbling, trying to find each other, maybe find what we thought were some hens up there roosted too. Basically like a fall scatter technique. It's a spring scatter, but unintentional, but it can play to your advantage. We get up there on there, on that hill there, and they might be in a goblin frenzy and we might be able to call them right up. It's just the problem is there's not a whole lot of poet to work with up there. So I've got to think about it for a minute. We, we may end up on top. It's a shame that was, we know there's three gobblers on that hill down there. And the only public is like right here inside the hill and down and all the top where the turkeys are going to stay are, are private. It's private. I'm going to tell you how, then we're going to go to another spot and listen. We gotta find one that's well on the public. So I think everything's down that way today. Um, all right, let's go find some birds. Hey, I ain't, ain't, ain't pitch enough. Yeah, let me hit with this. Go ahead. Turkey right there. Okay. It's all public there. We decided to go up in here and go after these birds. There's one gobble closer and one way deep. But it's all public. We don't have to worry about it. There's a tree fall. I thought it was a bird flying at first. It sounded like a huge gobbler. <laughs> anyway, the tree just fell. But we're going back in here. One's this way and then one gobbler's way back in there. We know we've got two birds in here somewhere. Let's see what we can do with them. What do you think? Bird gobbles to my calls. You owe me a dollar. I do? No, yeah, I'm in the hole. I remember last night? No. We didn't get no birds to gobble last night, did we? Yeah, we had two, so I'm I'm in the whole dollar. Okay. Double or nothing. Okay. I'm gonna say no. Maybe I wanted to say no. Well, I'm down. I get to pick. Okay. We're gonna be down two dollars here in a second. Eleven eggs. Why would she have? That's a good spot for a nest, I guess. It was a Jenny. That's all. It's all tail fan. Okay. Stagger tail fan. I bet mushroom hunters flush more turkeys off the nest than anything, because they're not just walking. They're just they're scouring. Yeah. All right, we uh we've been riding around checking some other areas. Got one to gobble. Went after him. He never gobbled again. We're back where we started this morning. Also the same joint area that we hunted yesterday morning. I think that's about a mile away. We just flushed a hen off the of nest. It was a little juvenile hen. We're gonna stay clear of it. Hopefully she returns to it. She was nesting right on the deer trail we were walking up. That's about the gist of it. We're gonna go up here and make some calls. 
Just gonna do some running and gun on the tops of these hills and see if we can strike a bird and call one in. So we've been sitting up here a couple of hours and finally heard a bird gobble. I got up and called off that ridge point there and thought we heard a faint gobble back behind us, called again and got a definite, definite gobble in this direction. So we're gonna head that way and see if we can get on this bird. We're getting close to no noon. Um, I figured they would have been gobbling before now, but we'll take them and get them. That call I did to get that bird to gobble must have fired him up because he's been gobbling the entire way we've been coming down the hill. He's, it sounds like he's on this next ridge. So. Or, did he just gobble good? Sounds like it might be two of them. That last gobble sounded like two birds. Come on, Pocahontas. That's a turkey feather in his hat. Been humping it, get up this hill. So what we're doing is, we got this ridge here, public stops on that end. We're coming around this side just to give us more room to work with. We'll come up on the back side. If we need to advance forward, we will, but I want to get up on top on the back side and not right here next to the property line. So we're using these deer trails to make it easier to gain elevation. Much easier to walk on these deer trails than it is to walk in the, just on the regular ground where a lot of loose stones and leaves are. These hills will whip you when you try to climb them in a hurry. This might be the best we can do. Yeah, we just gotta convince them to come into the woods out of that field. Property line's on the edge of the field there. This is about the best. I mean, there's a deer trail right here. If we stay, if we stay back here a little bit and convince him to walk in that deer trail, you know, just a couple feet into the woods, dead turkey. Yeah. yeah. We just gotta make sure we got a clear line of sight to that spot. way off that direction. Yeah, I mean, they're well on the private. They're on the other ridge system over there. Let's go right up here where the hill drops off and just sit down, see if they are interested in coming across the valley. Those birds went quiet for a little bit and we thought, well, maybe they're coming in. Well, they just gobbled. They sound actually farther away, so we're done with them. I'm gonna run Tyler to his truck. He's gonna head to Wisconsin to hunt. And I think I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and then kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I'm gonna keep hunting, looking for birds. Regroup. Yeah, regroup. I got my buddy uh, Evan Masters coming in and he and I are gonna hunt uh, tomorrow, at least maybe Thursday. But. We're out of here for now.